Hello everyone, this is Nanda Matari here. I am meditation coach and trainer. I'm currently in Switzerland and also doing my self-quarantine here. And I want to share my knowledge about four things you should do during the self-quarantine. Before I started talking about four things and why um, this self-quarantine happened, we all know that because of our coronavirus spiral and pandemic happening around the world and we want to control that virus by uh, being isolation to ourselves. So once upon a time, it also happened to us. It was like in Stone Age. When we were um, back then, we do not have any fire. We didn't see any fire. So we live in the cave to get protected ourselves from the danger, from uh, all kinds of you know animals and so on. So it happened to us till we find the light inside, also outside of this fire. And this fire, founding the fire would make us a real courage, brought us courage, and we can go out from the cave and also we can just, you know, do the thing which is important for us. It is the same evolution happening right now. It is about the time to find the fire, not um, outside because we can make fire anywhere. I'm now in my kitchen, so we can do the fire anytime. Right now, what we need to find is our inner fire. What um, about our courage and about our clarity so that we can find um, the courage to come out and also to survive and thrive in the new age of this time. So um, to find this fire in us, there are four things you can do and so that it, this uh, quarantine time will be the best use for yourself. The first thing you should do is declutter your life. What that means, so we've been always busy with doing outside of ourselves, going to work and meeting with friends and everything. But there are things that is, um, you know, summing up in our house. So you should declutter all the things which you does not need anymore. So by decluttering, you have more clarity. So what is decluttering your house? The second is decluttering your body because we are not taking care of our body enough, taking all the junk foods and everything. Now it is the time to really take care of our body and do declutter or to even reduce a lot of weights. And you can also do detoxing so that um, detoxing and decluttering for our body is the time that you should do. And the third um, of decluttering is your mind. There are many thoughts which is which we being you know dreaming around and lots of fear that fear might be coming up right now how can i pay my rent and so will i be alone always you know or there are many things that we are fearful of and also there are many many negative thoughts pattern that we should to let go of so it is now the time to really be in touch with that part of yourself which you do not want to carry along in your life. So declutter your body, decluttering your um, house and decluttering your mind. This is the first thing that you should do in, during this self-quarantine time. The second thing is the time to ask about your priority. So right now is a lot of people are um, also you know losing their job and we do not yet know how the world will be going on and when will be all normal and um, and you know everything will be normal back again. So it is now the time to really think and about yourself. What do you really want in your life? Right now is a big interruption of it. The second thing is you can think about what do my what does my heart really want? Because we are always busy about, you know, earning money and going outside and doing all the work we have to do. And we do not really spend time to listen to our heart. Right now is everything can fall apart at, in a blink of the moment. So it is the time to really ask yourself, what are your priorities? What is really important for you? So this is the second point you should do instead of watching um, you know, Netflix one after another or talking with friends. So a lot of people also have a lot of pains in the heart, then they drink alcohol. So instead of doing that, ask yourself, what do I really want in my life? If I more survive and thrive, right? And the third thing that you should do during that uh, self-quarantine is 
learn something new. So there are always, um, you know, things that we can learn and uh, from online right now. And it is also by adding something learning new. So you will be, you know, running away or maybe, you know, can avoid your fear and you can, um, you know, reduce your fear. And at the same time, you also have something and so something meaningful. And after this self quarantine time, you have already got some ability or the clarity what you can do with your new ability. So that is the third thing that you should do is learn something new. And the fourth thing is very important. It is about setting the goals. And so when you set the goals and write down, it can be about even reducing your weights or, you know, even doing something, you know, about declaring your house or you may be thinking about reviewing everything, what you have done in the past or whatever that might be. So write down your goals. When you write down your goals, what happened to you is your um, immune system also get, um, you know, rising up. I also talk about that in the last, um, uh, let's Wednesday, I made a one webinar about how to boost your immune system. When you write down the goal, your immune system also get increased. It is um, scientifically proof. And also because you have hope and you have uh, energy to go forward to your goals. So there are also a very um, clear example of this all outshoots. And so where the Jews, um, you know, um, kept in that second world war and the one who survived are the one who has the goal for the future. So if you would like to be surviving without having any disease and really thrive in the future, you should write down your goals. So with that, you'll have a, a hope for the future. You will also have courage and your immune system will also uh, rise up in this self-quarantine time so that you can survive and thrive. And so with that, I would like to sum up this video with the four things you can do in during the self-quarantine time, the first thing is declutter your house, your body, and your mind. The first thing is decluttering. The second is about setting your priorities. What do I really want? Now, what do my heart, what does my heart really want? That is the second thing you have to ask yourself and do something about it. And the third thing is learn something new. The fourth thing and is about setting your goal so that you will survive and thrive in during this time. So with that said, all my friends, I saw that many people are watching. So I just would like to wish you a good time in the self-quarantine. Be strong, be strong, be brave and survive. Let's survive and thrive during this time. And we'll see each other on the other hand stronger. So with that said, I wish you all a good, um, happy Sunday, wherever you are. And I'll do more video um, soon and stay tuned. See you next time. Bye-bye.